This is the unsung period of building an organ. The, the thing's been constructed, it's all installed, all of the work around it is gone, is, is over. And, and now the organists descend on it and get to know the instrument. I mean, all of these instruments have different personalities. And so this is sort of the, the honeymoon period with the organ and it's, it's really exciting. The number of possibilities of registrations that you can do with it, the amount of color that's available to the organist, the variety and volume and timbre and, and all of this is so tremendous that learning what it does really well, what it wants to do, what it doesn't want to do, uh, and what works best on certain repertoire is a huge part of the learning curve with any new instrument. If you played every stop combination one time and for one second, it would take 1.6 trillion years to play all of them. The estimated age of the universe is about 13 to 14 billion. So this thing has unlimited resources, virtually unlimited. So that it does take a while to move in, become familiar with the action, with the acoustic, with the way the pipe speech, and finally the combinations of stops. It's, it's a huge instrument and that's, that's a thrill. That is so much fun. There is no organ repertoire that I can't study at Notre Dame. It'll play just as well Bach as it will its great French Romantic repertoire. So now when you come to a Notre Dame as a student in organ and you say, I want to study Roibka, you can study Roibka where you wouldn't have been able to before. Paul Fritz is an organ builder of vast experience. He has some of the most uh, keen ears that I have ever experienced you know, up close and personal. It, it is a miracle. It's one of the most complex things that I can imagine in the musical realm. It's, it's really a star. It is a significant instrument in Paul's opus list and it is a significant instrument in, in the United States.